Welcome, this is Zahn with Repo Products. Today's screencast video is on Audit is on Autodesk Format 360 and how to work with scenes. Here I am in Format 360 web based application, and on the far right hand side, there are a bunch of commands in a vertical fashion. The fourth icon down from the top is called Scenes. Scenes basically in Format 360 is a way for you to create a snapshot image of the view that you're working with as well as using it to create an animation and the reason I say this is because it's very similar to Autodesk Showcase and Autodesk uh, Navisworks in regards to how to create viewports, how to create, um, they call it viewports in Navisworks but in Autodesk Showcase they call it screenshots. Anyway, here we have under scenes we can click add a scene. And the way it functions is you want to set up the view the way you like initially, like this, and then click Add Scene. It captures it, and it asks you to give it a name. We're going to just call it A, and hit Enter, and I'm done. I can then move around or whatever I want for setting the view for the next one, and then click Add Scene again, and do B. And so I can just run through the process of building any view that I want like this and add as many scenes as I need. I'll just do a few for the purposes of understanding what's happening after we create a whole bunch of them. And E. Okay, so now that I've created them, if I um, click the little arrowhead here for play, for A, it'll jump back to A and it'll show it to you. You also have the ability to display the camera position, the layers, uh, sun and shadow, whether these get affected by that camera as well. If I click B, it'll jump to B, and so on. If I need to, I can just click Play Scenes, and what will happen is that it will go into presentation mode, and it will cycle through each of the scenes as though you're creating a animation, an animation. It stitches the scenes together, and it just runs it in a series like this. And then if you need it to stop, if you click Dismiss here, it's going to dismiss that little warning window, but it's still going to keep running. You need to click Stop Scene over here, okay? And that way it stops. Now, if you click the bar here that's blank, it'll basically jump to the name of that scene as well. You can refresh the scene if you need to, because sometimes when you're working with content and things get added or removed, sometimes the scene doesn't update. So if you click this, it'll update the scene. Um, to that particular view that you're working with. And uh, lastly, somebody asked me, you know, obviously you can delete each of the scenes here, but you can't stitch all this together as an animation, and I can't seem to export that out. Uh, that was also a request by an end user. So if I click over here in the menu, I may have the ability to export out, but I can export the entire format file either to the 360 drive or locally. It doesn't say export animation or export scenes. So, and that's it. That's how you work with scenes in Format 360. Thank you very much for watching.